Hello friends, it feels great to be back and connect with you after a really long time. For those who do not know me, I am Dr. Rohit Jacob. I am doing my MD medicine in Aurangabad, Maharashtra. And for all my lovely viewers, I am really sorry that I could not post videos since past few months, probably due to the admission process and my hectic schedule. So to start with, this video is dedicated for all my first year students who have just dodged physics, chemistry and biology and come to an entirely different curriculum which creates a puzzle in their minds. Preparing anatomy, physiology and biochemistry by rote learning and practicing it again and again and again is not the right way to approach MBBS. Remember, from now on, you are not learning to pass exams. Instead, you are creating a memory. A memory that can store things for a lifetime. A memory that can locate any landmark, a memory that can diagnose any disease and also can pave a way through the management of that particular disease. To start with, each first year MBBS student should know three things. The first year MBBS student should have uh, knowledge about the concept, MCQs and research. 70% of your time should be consumed in building up of concepts, 20% in MCQs and 10% towards research. But every subject needs to be dealt in a different way. For example, anatomy. Illustrated representation creates long-term photographic memory. This is the key to the anatomy law. For example, if I ask you what is the boundary of the upper triangular space and what is the content of the upper triangular space in the spaces of axilla, nobody can answer this at within a fraction of a second unless you rem remember or imagine the image of it. For example, if you just imagine the image of this or draw this image in your mind, then it becomes very easy to locate it as there is teres minor on the upper border, teres major on the lower border and the content of the upper triangular space is circumflex scapular artery. When you remember this image in your mind, everything becomes easy. Similarly, any topic in anatomy has to be correlated with an image. For example, using the Netter's Atlas is a very good option. And once you do this, Nobody can stop you from being the next Andreas Vesalius. Now coming to a subject most difficult for each and every one of us, that is physiology. This subject requires the ability to decode complex language and also an intense imagination. One very important thing to remember is that each and every student, including me, when I saw the guide for the first time, I thought, Aray, yaar, itna bada book kaun padega? Then I opted for Sempulingam. That mistake caused me to realize it at least two months later and then I went back to Guyton. So I suggest that none of the first year students should go for bogus books like Sembolingham and go for only Guyton. Guyton is the perfect and the reference book of choice which you can use and for assistance you can use AKGen. AKGen can help you write answers during your exams but Guyton should be the master book for building up your concepts. Another thing which can help you in learning physiology are the YouTube videos. There are certain concepts in physiology like cardiac murmurs or uh, pressure volume curves in, in the respiratory system or it could be something like the blood pressure regulation. All of these are very well described in certain YouTube videos. This can be a good source of learning things as well as building up your concepts. Another important source for learning physiology is I feel Dr. Najib's lectures. When you're using these lectures as a source of reference, automatically not, not only do you build your concepts, but you also accelerate the excitement within you in reading more. Now coming to the most boring subject of first year, that is biochemistry. But actually biochemistry is the most interesting subject which you can read by doing it or approaching it in the right way. One thing which I would suggest all first year students is to have the Rebecca James review of biochemistry book along with your textbook, whether it may be Satyanarayan or Vasudevan. On using this book, it will help you get a practical approach. For example, let's say you are reading glycolysis. The first step for glycolysis is glucose to glucose 6 phosphatase, glucose to glucose 6 phosphate, which is catalyzed by the enzyme glucokinase or exokinase. This can be wrote learned by each and every one of us. But the ideal way of learning this is if glucokinase or exokinase is deficient, 
then what symptoms will the patient manifest? What kind of disease will it produce? What is the management for this kind of disease? That's what bring in, brings interest in biochemistry. And this is aptly and perfectly given in the book of Rebecca James with perfect pictures. Out of nine months of preparation of first year MBBS, starting from August to May, it is important that you finish your first reading or building up of, of your concept before January. When you do this, your first round of reading is complete. From Jan onwards, it is important that you orient yourself towards MCQs because no matter what the future holds for you, every future endeavor has an MCQ test at the doorstep of it. So it is very important that you orient yourself to MCQ pattern starting from January up to probably March. So three months you go ahead with your second reading and with your MCQ practicing. For anatomy, what I would recommend is Rajesh Kaushal book or Arvind Arora book. For physiology, I would strongly recommend K. Krishna Kumar and for biochemistry, as you all know, Rebecca James. Practicing from these books not only builds up your concepts, but also improves your accuracy in marking or in selecting the right option in an MCQ exam. So as I said, up to January, you will finish your first reading. From Jan to March, you will do your second reading. And finally, in the month of April and May, you will go for your third reading with the final revision. One thing which I would like to recommend, apart from all of these, is the third thing which I said, that is research. NPTEL organizes an online certification course called as Health Research Fundamentals, which is conducted by the National Institute of Epidemiology and the Indian Council of Medical Research. Doing this will orient you towards the research methodology technique and will provide you the right path to starting uh, of conducting of a clinical research from second year onwards. From all of these, you will feel that first year mein itna kaam kaise karenge hum. But trust me, when you start all of these along with WhatsApping, chatting, outdoor sports activities, dating, roaming around, all of these comprise a very good first year and it can easily be managed. And not only that, planning it out well will make you a winner eventually. If you like my video, please click the like button and the subscribe button and kindly give your valuable feedback.